five times on the court. Um, you know, they came out knowing that uh, we had a game last night and they wanted to attack us in the beginning, and they did. Uh, we weren't able to, to stop it. We kind of kind of hung in there, and then it was in the second quarter, we got it down to maybe nine once. Um, but then I think they you know, got six straight points or something. So, uh, you know, they're a tough team to play, especially if you're not at your best. And uh, um, you know, they're, they're the champions. So, uh, you know, you've got to have a great game to, to be in there with them. Coach, not so much from a physical standpoint, but just you know, from a mental standpoint and preparation, how much did the back-to-back uh, impact you guys, particularly, again, as the game moved forward? Um, I don't know. We, we didn't have the same energy they did now. Maybe they're quicker and stronger than we are. Um, I don't know. Uh, they sure look like that out there. Um, you know, sometimes we got off muscle. Sometimes we got off well. But uh, again, I don't, you know, when you look at our team, we're not, we're not the big, strong, uh, guys that a lot of teams have, you know, we got to do it with some hustle and some uh, uh, some energy. And if we don't, then uh, you know, we get banged around a little bit. So you know, that uh, Kevin Love got them off to a great start. Uh, and, you know, when they need their basket to kind of stem a little run that we had, they they got it. Your coach tonight, do you make a comfort, uh, effort to uh, guard the paint and the three point line tonight, starting off the game, or that was just something that happened on their shoot? They're shooting well. <laughs> you know, we uh, we had strategies. Uh, uh, we just didn't get out to the guys. You, know, you got to know that they're going to Kevin Love, and uh, uh, we just didn't get out to him quick enough. And you know, that's what he wants. He wants to get that little space and, and take the shot. Uh, you know, so we didn't close out and make him put it down. Uh, uh, we didn't put, make Channing Fry put it down. James Jones made one at the end. You know, the guys that typically they, that's what they want to do. They want to catch it and shoot it. Uh, it's a poor job of, of getting them out, out there. Coach, it's pretty rare when Carmelo plays a full game but only takes nine shots. But was he okay physically tonight? Was he just kind of tired from last night? What did you see from him? Yeah. Um, you know, again, they, they did a good job of uh, when he went to the post area. They kind of came and doubled right away. Um, you know, and you, he only played 23 minutes. You know, so, um, you know, usually if he played uh, – uh, he didn't get as many shots as normal, but um, you know that was part of their their defense to make sure that he didn't get it in there, uh, and, and that's when we got to pick it apart. And he, he threw some passes out there, and we're trying to just shoot it. If he did it, if they double Carmelo and they throw it out to you, you got to be able to shoot the ball. Um, you know that's that's what we want. We want him to double, uh, and then he should get an open shot. Jeff, did you uh, see tonight at all as kind of a measuring stick for where you guys were on opening night, and also against you know? When the NBA week, and if so, what do you think tonight told you? It looks like we're the same as the first game of the season. <laughs> um, you know, again, it's a tough one. Sometimes, uh, you know, these guys uh, were here yesterday. Um, you know, we had to we had to play our guys pretty much last night to, to beat Miami in Miami and had to, you know got in. I think uh, I think KP told me he got in at three twenty by the time he got back to his house. So. Um, you know, again, when you're playing a great team like uh, Cleveland, you can't, uh, you got to be at your full energy, your full effort, and uh, you got to play well, and, uh, you know, we didn't have it. Coach, as you pointed out, Cleveland was able to, you know, push you guys off your spots and offensively doing certain sets. How do you counter that to, to maybe get into the offense a little quicker? Yeah, uh, you know, they, they had one guy who knew his job, and that was Liggins, is try to put pressure on uh, the point guard and, and uh, you know, try to slow down. And you saw when, when they weren't able to do that, we were able to attack. We got some good looks and, and, and got some points. But uh, uh, when we got slowed down, then, then it becomes a, a little bit of a wrestling match, a little bit of a, a really knowing how to set your guy up, uh, hold him off to get the ball in your spot. And um, they pushed us out a little bit farther than we wanted to get it. Coach, just staying on that point, KP seemed that he was getting pushed off the blocks many a lot of times tonight. What are the things you want him to take away from a game like tonight? Well, you know, he, he's still learning how to play in the post. Uh, you know, we're, we're working with him. Uh, you know, we, we feel that when he gets that opportunity to go in the post and with his size, uh, if he slows down a little bit with it, uh, you know, he's, he's going to figure that out. Uh, but for now, he's, he's still trying to, to, to do that. Teams are trying to push him, and uh, he'll learn how to you know, sit down on the guy and uh, start his post up a little bit earlier. And you know that just comes with experience. You know, it's the it's, uh, first time he's really done it, um, but you know, he'll he'll get there. 
Uh, Jeff, yeah, what's the challenge of this five-game West Coast trip? Not all those teams are you know, top five. So, so you know, it's just like anything else, you go on the road, uh, uh, no wins are easy. And we got to come out there with the intensity every game and not you know, care who the opponent is uh, and, and kind of be more on the attack rather than uh, uh, being back on our heels. You, know, you kind of have to play that way on the road. Uh, and it makes smart plays. I think tonight, I don't know if it was because we were tired, but uh, you know, there were times when you know, Noah had a little guard on, the, on him and we passed it away from him and went to the other side. So uh, you know, that's, uh, uh, you know, that's, that's playing smart. When you go on the road, you've got to play a smart game uh, uh, to win no matter who you're playing. The, uh, the MRI results came back on Derek showing no structural damage. How much of a relief is that? And I guess you don't know right now about him for Sacramento yet? Yeah, no. Uh, we got treatment. Um, I'm sure he'll get treatment tomorrow. And uh, hopefully that's, uh, you know, with what our trainers can do, that all of a sudden he wakes up uh, uh, two days from now and says, oh, I feel pretty good. So, uh, you know, the good thing was there's nothing you know, major wrong with it. Probably typical wear and tear and you know, bumps and grinds. And uh, he landed wrong a couple of times. Uh, we've gone back on the tape and, and picked up a couple of plays that he just kind of landed funny, uh, which might have jarred him. So uh, I think he'll be fine. All right, thank you.